Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain you step by step how you can create a custom theme within SAP Fiori and how you can select it. And um, at the end, I will also show you how you can set your custom theme as default. So for every SAP user, um, as we currently see here, because there I have already created a custom theme. And um, yeah, basically enjoy this video and let's get started. In general, it is uh, important to open up the UI theme designer because within the UI theme designer, there you have the possibility to create your custom theme. And you can open up the UI theme designer with two possible ways. So the first is that you open up a special um, link within the uh, SAP Fiori and that's basically uh, this one. So it's basically slash SAP slash BC slash theming slash theme minus designer and then a question mark and then as a parameter sub minus client equals to your SAP client. And once you hit the enter key, then basically you will redirect to the UI theme designer and the UI theme designer will be loaded. And the second option is within the SAP GUI. Um, so basically you log into the SAP GUI and therefore you call a transaction code uh, to open up the UI theme designer and that's slash UI5 slash theme underscore designer. Then once you hit the enter key, then this pop up regarding the SAP GUI security will open up because therefore the SAP GUI tries to execute the command to also open up the UI theme designer. So here we click on allow because yeah, of course we would like to allow um, the SAP GUI to open up the UI theme designer. Yeah, and basically um, then you have successfully opened up the UI theme designer. Uh, within here we can already see our or my already created um, custom theme with some main um, colors, um, some detailed information. So who and when was this theme created? And basically within here you have some functionality. So within here you can edit an existing theme or custom theme, you can rebuild it, you can export it, you can delete it if you want to, you can rename it and you can duplicate it. Um, yeah, you can also, right now I have just four custom themes, but you can also search for your custom theme, what you like to. And within here we have two very important functions. So first one we will see in a couple of seconds you can create a new theme based on a standard SAP theme and that's normally the SAP underscore Fiori underscore three theme or if you have an exported custom theme then you can also import a theme. So first of all to create a custom theme you have to click on this button create a new theme and then this pop-up will open up and here you can select um, a a base for this. So um, here within we are just copying an existing theme and then you can change it afterwards. So you don't have the possibility to create a custom theme um, on scratch. So therefore here, um, yeah, you can you can click on a um, existing theme. You can also click on further information to get some uh, detailed information um, about this theme uh, if you want to. But what is really important, for example, if you would like to get just, just reuse um, a legacy theme, then you can click on this uh, yeah, on this on this link show legacy theme and then down here you will also see all the legacy themes. So for example, the SAP Blue Crystal, the Chrome, the Corp, whatever. And to create a theme, basically as mentioned, you have to select your um, your base theme and then you click on the create theme button and then in the background your theme is being created. 
And within here, within the editor, you have basically three areas. So in the left hand side, there you can see your application. Uh, you can you can uh, do some changes. Uh, you can remove this. Um, within here, you can uh, switch between uh, your original theme and the uh, ongoing or the the custom theme. So what it looks like here, you can yeah uh, switch between the desktop view, the phone view, and the tablet view. So what the theme looks like um, based on responsive and stuff like that. And within here, for example, the full width. And here you can preview the build theme in a new window if you like to. And within here, um, yeah, you can also uh, do a manual reload. Uh, but the magic itself happens on the right hand side because within here you have some uh, options to change the colors because within here you can set up a company logo so basically a a logo that will appear in the theme so basically within here yeah you can uh, upload a image or an icon within here uh, within here you can uh, specify different colors so for example here you can type in manually the hexadecimal code or you can uh, choose it within the color uh, picker and uh, yeah you have a lot of possibilities but what i really like is that you have different options because here you have the quick theming then you have the detailed theming then you have the uh, expert theming and within here you have also uh, yeah you can pick an uh, organization's color uh, what you like to but in here you can add less or CSS to your theme and that is in my opinion really really great um, yeah so you have a lot of possibilities to customize your um, your your theme what you like to um, so what kind of colors uh, should should uh, yeah should be shown and when so for example uh, yeah within here um, if you would like to to change this for example there you can uh, select this then click on ok uh, or for example uh, yeah if we would like to change also the the navigation area so for example within here we can yeah uh, do this a little bit on this side uh, or, or doing that side and then you can directly see in the middle area that the color changes yeah or for example this uh what, whatever you like, you have a lot of, of possibilities just for demo purposes. I'm doing uh, this. Yeah, and basically, um, if you are satisfied and happy with your result, uh, then you have to, um, to, to build your theme and with the menu function theme. Um, of course, you have within here the possibility to create a new theme. Yeah, you can test build it, you can save it, you can save it as. Uh, you can also import a new theme, you can export it. But what we now need to, uh, to generate a custom theme in order to use it later on, you have to save and build your custom theme. So we click on save and build. And then basically, um, yeah, this. Um, this uh, window will open up and within here you can uh, yeah, uh, specify a theme ID and within here a title so for example within here I just would like to enter custom quad slide theme ERP app and then you click on save and then in the background this might take a couple of seconds uh, your theme will be saved and will be built so the theme is saved and built and what is really important because in my case i have already created a custom uh, theme before um to also uh, yeah to enter the uh, link to the application so within here within the edit um basically um yeah you uh, have the preview page and this uh, window will open up uh, once you've created the first time your um, custom theme so in my case because i have already created this and um, this uh, has been taken over um, but within here you have basically um, to enter your link to the application in my case i have entered um, um, yeah the link to the sap fiori launchpad 
So with slash SAP slash BC slash UI2 slash FLP and then as a parameter the SAP client within here um, yeah basically a name of the uh, application. So um, yeah if you want to you can also change uh, the, the link to the application. Um, yeah so this is important once you create it but uh, in our case because we have already created our custom theme now we would like to uh, yeah to select it so basically to do this I open up the SAP Fiori launch pad once again and within here we can see the old custom theme and you can select uh, basically with with different uh, possibilities um, the uh, custom theme the first one is to open up the me area and then you go to settings and then you go to appearance and then within here we can see our custom theme the custom quad slide EAP up then you click on the save and then this is saved to your user uh, profile and then within here you can also see the custom theme uh, or what you also can do is with a user uh, parameter and to do this I would like to open up the UI theme designer once again and to, to call the custom theme, you have to open up the theme ID. So we open up uh, this, then we go into um, on the right side and there basically you can see the uh, custom theme ID. So it's custom quad slide three. If you, for example, are in the theme designer, and then you can also open up uh, the settings for your theme under theme and then properties and here you can also see the theme id then we switch to the sap fury launchpad once again then we change the theme so yeah basically to this one to show you this and then within the URL we have one additional parameter with question mark SAP minor theme equals to the theme ID then you hit the enter key and then basically the theme is also changed so and now I would like to show you how you can set your custom theme um, default for every SAP user and to do this, we have to open up uh, the SAP GUI. Um, and basically here, first of all, we check one theme parameter and you have to open up the transaction code UI2 slash UI2 slash NWBC underscore CFG underscore SAP. And uh, within here, basically, as mentioned, uh, you can see the parameter value for the path filter SAP underscore FLP for your theme. And this is the default value SAP underscore Fiori underscore three. Um, then we open up the transaction slash UI2 slash NWBC underscore CFG underscore cust. And within here we have to create a new uh, a value of the parameter. So we click on, uh, on new entry and within here you have to enter the filter SAP underscore FLP with the parameter name theme then you hit the enter key and within here the value you have to yeah to uh, type in the, the um, theme ID of your custom theme and in my case is custom underscore quad slide underscore three and um, basically the same as we used within the URL with the parameter uh, then you save this basically then you have to link your change it to a customizing request then yeah this will not transport it it's okay and then after that you have to once again uh, you to copy your value because now you have to open up a new transaction and that's slash ui2 slash flp underscore sys underscore conf 
And keep in mind that here we open up the, the maintenance view of a table, so we confirm. Um, yeah, and within here we have to change the value of the uh, launchpad property ID theming underscore default underscore theme from SAP underscore Fiori underscore three to our custom property value. Then we save it, and then you have to link your change to a workbench request. Then you can continue. Uh, this is okay. Uh, yeah, and now you're done. So uh, now for every SAP user, um, your custom theme will be used. And yeah, that's that's quite easy. You can, uh, within the UA theme designer, customize your uh, custom theme. And yeah, if you have any questions left, put them please in the comment section. Please, if you like this video, hit the like button and please subscribe this YouTube channel because there will be great videos in the future. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.